Hi, Matt. It's Katie Tunstall. How are you? Uh, it's really cool that we have got this remix coming out. You did an amazing job. Thank you. And I wanted to ask you a few questions for everyone else's enjoyment as well. Hi, Katie. I'm good, thanks. Uh, thanks so much for uh, asking me to do the uh, remix of Little Red Thread. It was really fun. I remember uh, the Chariots of Fire soundtrack by Van Gelis and then later the Life Aquatic soundtrack for Wes Anderson by Mark Mothersbaugh of Devo were two pieces of music that really got me into writing for film. And I wondered if there were any memorable pieces of music that inspired you to start scoring. Um, yeah, as a child, I really liked the uh, Cat Concerto, the Tom and Jerry cartoon, where um, Tom's trying to play the piano and Jerry is, um, you know, being really annoying by replacing piano keys with uh, mouse traps and things like that. I got back into it when I was about 14 and that's when I started messing around with scoring. My second question, I will answer myself first. Uh, my favourite instrument is a duduk, which is an Armenian, like an oboe. Uh, there's a very famous Armenian player called Jivan Gasparian, who I love. Um, something just so magical about that instrument. And I wondered if you have a favourite musical instrument? Uh, my favourite my favorite instrument is the violin, which is a really uh, rich history and is constantly being reinvented for each age. Uh, there's some really, really great lesser known violinists on YouTube, such as uh, Antal Zalai. Is there a way to be away from you without a making them so making everything? And lastly, Matt, what is a piece of music that you are, or an album that you're listening to at the moment that is? really exciting you. I am fully addicted to Singularity by John Hopkins and listening to it at every opportunity. Mind expanding stuff. At the moment I'm listening to uh, the 12 microtonal etudes for electronic media by Easley Blackwood Jr. These are written in different tuning systems where instead of the octave being divided into 12, it's divided into, you know, 13, 15, and they all have their own um, different uh, chord sequences and harmonies. And I think that in the future, uh, 3D printing will be able to cheaply create instruments that can um, play uh, this sort of music, which will be very exciting. Fight out the world, fight out the world, just to make 